guys, welcome to another video from CC's Creations. Today I want to share with you one of my favorite coloring technique, uh, water coloring with markers and an aqua painter. As you can see here I have my image that's already stamped on watercolor paper. I've used the Jet Black Stays On ink because we're going to be using a lot of water so I don't want any of the stamped image to bleed into with the colors. Um, the way I uh, chose my markers, the colors of my markers, is I started with this pattern paper from the Bella Blue DSP and I went ahead and scribbled on um, a scrap piece of watercolor paper with different markers and these are the marker selection that I ended up with. So today I'm going to be using the Night of Navy Brocade Blue Bashful Blue that will be folded flowers. Uh, the, the little middle of the flowers will be more mustard. Then I have certainly celery and old olive for the two leaves that are in the image. And for the pot, um, I'm using chocolate chip, really rust, and creamy caramel. First of all, here's a tip. If you're using an aqua painter, uh, they can be very temperamental so I always keep a piece of um, absorbent paper and I press on my aqua painter to get the water going and that way I can see where I'm at exactly. An aqua painter that's too dry is not going to carry your, your color forward and one that is too uh, runny um, will just give you a mess on your paper and uh, if you see that your water is pooling over your paper what you can do is you can use your heat gun to heat up the area that has a lot of water pooling. So let's get started with the flowers. So I'm going to be using three shades of blue. So first what I want to do is I want to apply the bashful blue almost everywhere on my flowers I don't have to be too precise about it, but I do want to put blue all over the flowers. One thing also that's good um, to do before you actually start this process is to determine where your light source is going to come from. That's going to help you determine the shadows and highlights on your drawing and the reason why I chose three blues is that you preferably always want to have a light value here a light value a medium value and a very dark value that's going to give you a full array of shadows and highlights and so I'm just going to very liberally spread that bashful blue um, color that I've already laid out laid down on my flowers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my heat gun and dry this area because I want to speed up the process. Just be careful not to burn your image when, when you do that. Um, another tip that I wanted to share with you is removing color with an aqua painter is very easy. You just drag your aqua painter over the area where you went over and just pick up the water with your finger. It picks up the color at the same time. Now I'm going to be adding the brocade blue. Okay, so now I'm ready to add my darker value, which is Night of Navy, and I'm going to be concentrating this color on this on this side because I don't want any of the dark 
color to go onto the right hand side because then it'll start looking uniform. So I really want this area to be much darker than, than this side. Okay, so I think, oh no, I forgot something. I forgot the middle of my flowers. This is going to help me define my flowers actually, so this will help. This will help tremendously. So there's my card. I hope you like it. And um, I want to say a quick thank you to Jen, uh, my partner in crime, because she installed this uh, brand new high def camera that I have. And it's a permanent installation. So hopefully I'll be able to um, do those videos more often. And uh, don't be shy. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. And I will try to accommodate you. So until next time, have fun practicing your coloring. And I'll see you soon.